yes. It's 10 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. I'm in the UK, it's 18 degrees. The English summer is finally here. Which means, hopefully, you guys will have the chance to get out on the fairways a lot over the coming weeks, play lots of golf, and hopefully take some photos along the way as well. Because some of you, or hopefully all of you watching this video will remember that here at Your Golf Travel, we organize or we run a monthly photography competition called YGT Greatest Shot where we basically want you guys to send in pictures that you've taken on the golf course, whether it's playing here in the UK, whether it's on a golf holiday you might have booked with your golf travel, attending an event such as the Open Championship we saw in last month's video, uh, someone sent in a picture from Carnoustie last summer. So yeah, any golf related photography that you've got, we want you sending our way for hashtag YGT Greatest Shot. So here are nine entries on a shortlist who almost qualified to win the monthly prize of a dozen tailor-made TP5 golf balls as well as the winner themselves. Right guys, first up on the list, we've got this awesome entry from uh, one of the friends of the show at Your Golf Travel, Dave Donovan, uh, who would you believe it has been to the Masters with Your Golf Travel on four separate occasions now. But he's chosen not to send in one of his Augusta pictures. Uh, he's gone for one selfie with his friend up at Neffin and District Golf Club in North Wales. Now, this is honestly one of the most picturesque golf courses on the planet that I've ever seen. I actually was up there filming a kind of Visit Wales promo years and years ago. Um, I cut some of that footage now. And as you can see, I didn't get the weather that Dave's got on, in this photo. Um, honestly, you guys, if you're looking for kind of a hidden gem style golf course to play, it doesn't come at much better than Neffin and District where you've got sea views on every single hole you play pretty much. And there's a few holes out on a peninsula, which I'm not gonna lie, a bit bonkers, but they're absolutely fantastic. And this kind of photo here just reminds me of if you get a lovely day on a course like that, UK is pretty hard to beat sometimes and local tip for anyone who's thinking of going up to Niffin District for some golf, uh, I think after the 15th hole, um, you climb down some steps to this most gorgeous little beach to the Thai Cock Inn, which is a little pub where they serve some great food, obviously you can grab a beer and then tackle the last three holes. Lovely shot, Dave. Well done for making the shortlist. Next up, we're gonna shoot off to the literally the other end of the planet, uh, an entry from Nick Olney, uh, and this comes from St. Andrew's Beach in Australia. I think it's around the Melbourne area. And as you can see here, uh, Nick is quite literally on the beach in some of the most dramatic bunkering uh, I've ever seen really. Um, I'd absolutely love to go and play golf in Australia. Just looks like there are so many amazing golf courses out there. And I just like this photo, it kind of makes you smile because it just reminds me of some of the trouble you can get into when you're on a golf course. Nick, did you make your par, bruh? It would have been a good one out of that bunker, but yeah, pretty dramatic photo. And thank you very much for entering. And speaking of golfers in a spot of bother, uh, absolutely loving this entry from uh, Pele Bergsten, Bergstein probably pronouncing that wrong, apologies if I am, but I'm not actually sure where this photo was taken, uh, it didn't say on the tweet, I'm not sure Pele knows where he is either in there, but I like the fact that he's climbed in there to have a go at the shot, and it just reminds me of some of the predicaments I find myself in on a golf course on a regular or, you know, very regular basis. Moving on to someone who knows very well how to get themselves out of trouble, we've got a lovely action shot here from Guido Migliozzi, um, some of you guys with a very keen eye will spot the little Your Golf Travel logo on his back there. And Guido is actually a player that we sponsor. Uh, it's his debut season on the European Tour this year. And he's already won twice, um, so going along very nicely indeed. I'm hoping to catch up with Guido and film a little bit of content with him in the coming weeks and months. Fingers crossed on that one. Keep up Guido, we're very proud of what you're up to this year on the European Tour and lovely action shot from the bunker as well. Next up, and I don't really care how good you are, um, if you're in a bunker on the new course of St Andrews and that's your lie, you're probably not getting up and down from there. Um, this entry is from John Stewart, as I said, it's on the new course up in St Andrews. This is just indicative of the kind of spots you can find yourself in when you're playing a traditional links course with those lovely revetted bunkers. All I can say is, John, I hope you didn't do yourself a mischief on your wrists when you're coming out of that bunker. If you got the ball out, that is. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, absolutely wicked shot. Obviously just sums up Lynx Golf. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, John. Let me know how the new course was. I haven't actually played golf in St. Andrews, which I'm a little bit ashamed to say. Obviously the old course is the creme de la creme up there, but yeah. If you're watching, whack a comment down below, let me know your thoughts on the new, because I've got to sort myself out a little St. Andrews itinerary, I think. Now, I've not been to the Algarve for quite a few years. Um, I know I'm going there with the Muppets later in this year. Should be a greatest 18 tour of the Algarve coming up potentially, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. But this entry from Thomas Reaney um, just reminds me of all the things that we all love so much about the Algarve. Clear blue skies, perfectly pristine looking fairways and tees and stuff like that. Umbrella pines lining the fairways, making it challenging. This one is the Don Pedro Millennium course, which is one of the very first courses I ever filmed with uh, Matt and Mark, brings back good memories and I'm looking forward to getting back to the Algarve later this year. So thank you, Thomas, and well done for making the shortlist. Similarly to the Algarve, obviously Spain offers pretty much all of the same loveliness. So amazing weather, fantastic golf courses, lots of choice. One of my favorite resorts, as all of you will know, is the La Manga Resort down in Mercia. And this picture from Gerard Stewart uh, just kind of sums up some of the moments you get on a golf holiday. It looks like there's a golfer just sitting there on the back of what I think is the last green on the north course, waiting for his mates to come up the fairway and onto the green. Five Star Hotel sat just behind where this picture was taken. I was in La Manga not too long ago and it just is a fantastic golf resort. And this is a really fun photo. So thank you very much, Gerard. Nice picture, La Manga. Yes, please. Next entry is from Dougie or at Dougal02. And the picture is taken at Mullion GC, Mullion GC. Not sure pronouncing that incorrectly again. But he said that he hadn't played golf in quite a while and snatched a little round of golf with his dad on a recent family holiday, playing golf in the twilight and caught this amazing picture down by the seaside when the sun was going down. And yeah, it's very hard to beat a bit of twilight golf. And it looks like someone snuck a shot in there pretty close as well. So that golf course looks pretty spectacular. And it makes me want to get down to a Lynx course soon and play some twilight golf myself. So just before we get to uh, the May winner of Greatest Shot, we've got the last entry on the shortlist. And this is actually from uh, one of the friends of the show at YGT again. It's from Georgie Bingham. So some of you will recognize the name from Talk sport and various other things like that but this one is her playing at Monte Ray now this is a course I haven't actually played in the Algarve absolutely desperate to never hear anything other than just people waxing lyrical about this place and one of the things I hear most often is how isolated each hole is from the rest of the course uh, and well this picture just perfectly sums that up. If you didn't know any better, there wouldn't be a golf course there that just looks like a single hole plonked in a massive expanse of land. But that's the feeling you get on this golf course according to all the reports I've heard. As if I didn't want to play Monte Ray enough, photos like this make me want to get out to the Algarve and definitely tick it off the list. So, time for the winner of May's Greatest Shot. And this is actually someone who entered last month as well. And it's of my home course. Loving this shot. I know where the picture is taken from. 18th tee. Again, bit of twilight golf, spectacular sunset. Lots of post-production has been done on this picture, which I've said in videos before, I have no issue with whatsoever. It's kind of just part and parcel of modern photography these days. Jack Sisson sent this one in, and last month he sent in a picture, a fairly dramatic picture with the rainbow of the 18th green. So the other end of this hole. And the 18th tee is, or the 18th tee shot I should say, is one of the most challenging, not just from the area where I live or on this golf course, Joe's Cross Golf Club. I've been trying to figure this t-shirt out for about 14 years. Um, so not only is this a fantastic photo, amazing looking uh, sunset as I said, but I figured after taking this picture, I know what Jack was facing and I'm guessing he probably needs to stock up in golf balls it's, as I would guess. Maybe one or two were lost just after this photo was taken. So congratulations, Jack. Uh, loving the persistence. Please enter again next month. Um, and I will probably see you at the club fairly soon. And I'll be armed with a dozen tailor-made TB5 golf balls for you. Because you have won May's Greatest Shot. Congratulations. Thanks again for everyone who entered the Your Golf Travel Greatest Shot competition back in May. And for those who keep doing so in June and heading into July as well. 
I'll be announcing the June winner in a couple of weeks. I know this video is a little late, fairly often recently, so I've fallen a little bit behind. Apologies on that one. Hopefully you guys know how to enter the competition by now. You can do so on Twitter, you can do so on Instagram. All you need to do is include the hashtag YGTGreatestShot hashtag. And you can also email us at greatestshot at yourgolftravel.com just in case there are those of you with some lovely golf photos who don't happen to have either of those social media platforms. You can also include some photos on Facebook as well. Just be sure to remember to include hashtag YGT greatest shots. And hopefully, moving forward, sending in some pictures will give you the chance to win a dozen tailor-made TP5 golf balls. And if your picture's really good, you might end up qualifying for the end of year shortlist and potentially the grand prize, which is gonna be pretty sweet. So keep the entries flooding in and congratulations again to Jack for winning the May prize. Hey, hey, hey,